Hello everybody, hope you're all doing well. Uh, so today this video is going to be a part 2 of sorts to my previous demo on scanning for IL-2. Uh, recently I've been interested in making custom alpha channels for uh, all my skins. Uh, for those of you that don't know, the alpha channel is basically a pure black and white channel, which uses the value of uh, a shade of gray on a 0 to a 100 scale to determine how opaque or transparent to make the various parts of a layer. And basically in terms of skinning, this just means how flat or glossy the paint is going to look. Uh, however, I ran into a lot of trouble since most of the guides I found were not working. Either people were using different versions of GIMP or um, actually a lot of people use Photoshop. So I was having trouble getting the alpha channels to work for me. Uh, eventually I figured out how to do this in GIMP, um, so as a word of caution, um, this is just how I figured out how to do it, so if it doesn't work you may want to try um, using other people's methods. Alright, so first thing I'm going to do is open up the skin, and take this 190A5. Alright, so here's our completed skin. And over here are all the layers that we use to paint this skin. And so what we want to do to get to the channels portion um, of this toolbox, so right now we're on layers, uh, if we click on here we go to channels, and here's the current um, alpha channel that we've been using to export skins. Uh, so when we want to create a custom skin, take this, click and drag it onto here and make sure that all of these are um, highlighted. Uh, so if these aren't highlighted, and you go over here, click on this layer, uh, when you try painting on here, nothing is going to show up. However, if you have all these selected, now you can uh, paint the uh, alpha channel um, on here. Now the first thing to note about alpha channels is that they only register uh, black values. So say we have this color, uh, go to here, you can see it has a black value of 34. So if the alpha channel will only see it as this color of gray. So if we pick this color, you can see it's at a value of 36, and if we go to this darker portion, it's at a value of 75, and the closer to 100 this black value is, the flatter it's going to be. Uh, and then the closer to white it is, it's going to be much uh, glossier. So right away I, I can t uh, see that this majority portion of the skin is going to be almost too glossy for... Um, anything really. So what we can do to start uh, painting our alpha channel is selecting these uh, brighter portions and coloring them in darker so that they will appear uh, flatter in the skin. So I will hide that channel, go to this body layer, and select the layer, yeah, let's look that. Uh, go back to the alpha layer that we have, and we can start painting. Uh, the brush type doesn't necessarily matter, so if you wanted it to look like really rough or something, you could do that. Um, that's not really what I'm going for here though. So I'll just go with the standard brush, and I will change the black value to 74 because I know that looks pretty good for uh, flat paint colors. So I'll go ahead quickly color all that in. Alright, uh, next we can try doing this with the wings. That looks good. So we can go back up to the alpha channel, uh, show the alpha channel, and color all of this in. There we 
we go. Um, I believe I can also do this uh, cowling. And I want to keep the cowling a little bit shinier than everything else, so I'll drop it to about uh, 55. And go ahead. Actually, it's on this layer. Just like that. Go back up to our uh, alpha channel. And fill that in. And now, I believe we can also get the uh, elevator and stabilizer painted uh, along with this um, piece that's in front of the front windshield. And change that back up to 74 and go ahead and paint that in. Okay, so now what we still have left to paint is the canopy frame, uh, the rudder, uh, some miscellaneous parts, and the underside of the plane. Uh, so, several ways you can try doing this. Well, that may not be a good option. Uh, so we can try just selecting this blue layer. Uh, that's not going to be terribly accurate, but it's okay. Uh, you could end up using a free path select and going through just sort of selecting everything. Um, that takes a little bit of time though, so I'm just going to select um, this white color and start going through. And that actually looks pretty good. I can still uh, fill in the rudder a bit. So we can quickly select this. Select this, whatever this is, too. I can do is actually make this slightly darker. It's probably not going to be noticeable, but it will be darker. Or flatter, I should say. And last thing, I just have this canopy piece. Not sure if I actually painted it yet, but do this. And I may as well just make all this stuff a little darker. Alright, now that we have that done, we can save, and we will hide the alpha layer that we have so that when we export it, the plane doesn't look like this. And now you can click drag, put it into the alpha's, uh, alpha channel, or the channels tab, and rename this to say 3190. A5 test. And you don't have to select or make it visible at all. You can just leave it like that. And just save it again. So we can pretty much follow the same procedure as before. So go to flatten image, layer mask, add layer mask, channel. Now this time we're going to select our channel that we've created uh, before we chose this default alpha one channel um, but now we're going to choose our custom uh, channel 
hit add, export, export it here, and same thing as before, bc3, dxt5, generate MIP maps and box, hit OK. And now if we copy our skin, put it into aisle 2. Uh, open up the skin viewer. And, well, I'll show you Sewn skin since he has the default alpha channel. You can see it's very glossy, almost like overly reflective. Uh, now if we look at the custom alpha channel that we've created, you can see right away paint is much flatter, uh, reflections look much different, and you can kind of see the cowling is still uh, pretty reflective uh, compared to the rest of the plane. And that's pretty much all I know about uh, alpha channels. I'll put a short clip at the end so you can see it what it looks like in game. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, hope that helped, and see you next time.